Hey yo, what's going on, you brothers? It's King Breaking, and welcome back, guys, to another video. And today, I am going to be teaching you guys how to retexture for Gmod in Substance Painter 2022. Let's get straight into it. So, let me tell you what this video is not before we begin. I'll not be telling you how to get the textures for your models. That is in another video, which I have, which will be linked down below. And there should, should be a little iCard coming up telling you uh, where to go. Uh, but that's not what I'm going to be teaching you today. What I'm going to teach you today is how to get your models and the SMD files. I'm going to teach you how to get it into Blender and then from there go to Substance Painter. And then after that, I'm going to give you a few tips and tricks for you to test out to make the best model you can. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to decompile all of the models so we can get the SMD file. So what you want to do is you want to get Crowbar. Crowbar will be, there'll be a little iCard show up right now, showing you guys uh, a video of how to get Crowbar and how it works. But simple enough, just get the tool and then click on it and open it. It's really simple. And it'll cover with stuff like this. You'll have a few things such as set up games, download, unpack, review, and a bunch of other stuff, right? Which you don't need to worry about. All you need to worry about is decompile. Now you can pause the video right here and look at what I've got, uh, but it should just all be right and uh, straightforward when you get it anyway but what you want to do is you want to go to the MLD file uh, and you just want to browse go to the file of your choosing um, of where there is an MLD file um, sorry MLD I mean MDL um, and what you need to do is literally just go on GLAT click on it um, I've already got my path right here uh, for mine uh, and then you want to put it on an output so I've just put it in my SMD file which is uh, literally right here so it's pulling from this over here uh, where you know you could just download this sort of stuff you can go through and uh, it's right there it'll literally just be right here uh, and then if we just go back to the models here we are uh, and then it'll all just be put into the SMD so what, what you need to do is you need to then press decompile and then it'll go through a bunch of steps and then it'll say you know complete well done good job I'm not going to do it here because I've already done it but pretty much you literally just press decompile and it works absolute wonders so once that's done you can close this and then you can go now to blender I have already Blender open, and as you can see, I've already got this. But if we just remove all of these real quick, I'll teach you how to get this. Delete all hierarchy. So here we are. We have a blank slate, right? This is what you usually get at the beginning. Now, some basic things you need to know about this is if you hold middle ma uh, middle mouse button, uh, you can swivel around like this. And then if you click this hand, you go up and down all over the place. That's all you need to know for Blender. Um, Well, for this anyway. So what you want to do is you want to go to File. And you also actually want to go to Import and bring in the Source Engine. Now, now, you're going to be like, oh, well, I don't have Source Engine there. That is to be expected because it's not a traditional thing with this. What you need to do is you need to go to Developer Communities and download some stuff. Um, but there will also be another video, which I'll link right at the top right now, showing you guys how to do that. So what's going to happen is this, is you'll download that, you'll install the add-on, and it'll all be fine, right? And you'll have a clean slate like this. And then you can go to Import. Uh, file import and then there should be source engine click on that and then it, and then go to the file you want and select the smd file hold down control go there and then go there and there right you just want to select the smd files do not select the physics and do not select the uh qc all right uh and then you'll have all of this so just hold down control and select all you want and then when you're done just press import and it'll wait it'll, you know it'll take a moment to, just for it to import but once that happens you get something like this and unfortunately i'm upside down but here we are um and we have the little model here Right, now you can easily just select the bone skeleton and just delete that because you don't need it. Uh, you're not doing any, like, modeling um, or stuff like that, so it's not too important. But here you are. It looks a little bit untextured right now, which is absolutely fine, and it is exactly what you want. So what you got is you got this right here, and it looks like a clone. You've got the helmet. Um, you know, you've got the body there, you've got the face underneath the helmet, and then you've got the helmet, okay? And certain bits of these have uh, different things. You've got the face, you've got modifiers, uh, you've got groups and stuff like that. You've got all of this sort of stuff, but you don't need to worry about it, okay? You just need to do this, and then exactly when you're done with this, you just go to File and export now you are going to have source engine down here but we're not using that yet because we're not exporting it to any source engine we need the fbx because that is the one which works well with substance painter so export it to fbx uh find out where you want to put it i've already got one uh but you just want to change the name down here and then export there and then you'll get a lovely little file uh which is this and it's literally just a 3d object it's really simple so simple and easy but then you want to get substance painter open and you want to drag it in. Now, I'm not going to show you how to pirate Substance Painter. I'm not willing to do that. If you want to do that, I will link videos down below teaching you how to do it. Okay, so 
uh, as you can see here, we have the uh, model up. Now, if you want to get the model into into it, uh, quite simple. You literally just get the FBX file and you drag and drop. That's as simple as it is. I can instantly just do that. And it'll be like, oh, you want to open this? Okay, yeah, absolutely. And then it just opens a new one, right? It already has all my stuff in there and it's already sorted. So... Uh, you do, all you need to do for the models as well, I mean, for the textures, sorry, is you literally just need to drag all of them. So you just, you know, select them all, drag and drop. Now, I'm going to do it with the gloves just to show you. You want to drag the gloves, um, and then it's going to have all of this sort of stuff, right? You can't import, and you're like, oh, well, what do I do? Do I click this? No. It just says undefined. All you need to do is just click texture, and then it should all be fine. Uh, if it needs a path, then just do utile se section and then import. And then all you need to do is go to projects, and all, all you got is here. Right, so, some basic things you need to do about Substance Painter, right? Okay, so let's go to Materials and go to Base Color instantly. Now, many of you are going to be like, oh, well, you know, Materials looks better. It does. I, I agree. It looks so much better. But you aren't going to use it. Um, Gmod just doesn't allow that uh, sort of stuff. And on top of that as well, you will just cause so much lag to yourself and everyone else's clients. It's just not worth it for doing it like that. And it will never look like that in-game. So all you want to do is just go to Base Colors. Now, this, this, this looks a little bit more reasonable, right? But how do I get these textures onto here? Do I drag it? No, of course not. Uh, what you want to do is you want to go onto the right-hand side. You'll see texture set list. And you just want to go out with the eyes, the face, and also the teeth. Because we're not going to use any of that. We're not going to retexture any of that. If you do want to, though, you can easily do that. But we are currently on the body. We are going to go to layer one and right-click. And then you'll get a bunch of this sort of stuff, like, I'll oh, add a bitmap mask or stuff like that. We'll get to what all that is soon. But what you want to do is just go to Add Fill. And then wait a moment, and it will add a fill layer. And you'll get something like this. Now, yes, it doesn't look like the texture. We're going to do that right now. So you're going to scroll down on the properties of the fill till you get to your base color. Now, this, you know, if you want to just color, color it like that, that's, that's cool. It works. It's completely working. Uh, but we don't want to do that. We actually want to add the thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag this. I'm going to drop it. And as you can see, wow, look at all this. It looks like the model because it is the model and it is the texture. So what we want to do is we just want to do that a few more times with everything else. Uh, so some bits may be split up, but all you need to do is just drag the entire thing and it works the exact same. So we've got gloves. We're going to just fill this again. Uh, and then we've got the base color there. Drag the gloves. And then the last one will be the helmet, as you can see here. And there you see, we've actually got the model. It's in T-Pose, of course, but it does work, and this is always good. So, now you've got this in here, and you may have some amazing ideas of what you want to do for your model, which is completely fine. So, we're going to work on the helmet for this one, just to make it a lot more easier. And if you really want to just focus on that thing, you can easily just delete everything apart from the helmet, and then you get this, right? Make sure you clicked on this, and then all you want to do is go to the top of the layer, and you'll see Add Layer. Add another layer on top. Has to be on top. If it's below, it can't be seen. So have it on top. Now, there's many things you guys can go look through. And I may just make a video on how to retexture professionally and stuff like that. But there are many things like smart materials, smart masks. And you will see so much of this sort of stuff. And I highly suggest you just go out and experiment. But say like I want to add a wooden texture my, to my stuff, right? So maybe I want to look more, you know, like a camo guy. So we'll just drag that onto the layer. Um, and you can see this here, right? Now it's covered the entire helmet, which maybe we don't want. Maybe we just want to do maybe the insides here or the insides here here right so what we want to do is just go to add mask and add a black mask to it okay we kind of get rid of this layer it doesn't really matter uh, but as you guys can see here you know you can't see any of it however if i just drag over it does that really simple really easy now how do i make it so i can do you know so i can just do certain sections and not have such a odd thing well you can make this smaller really simple and easy um also as well if you hold down shift and go across you can make a little line like that uh, very good, very easy, and uh, very useful for lines. However, I always suggest with some areas going with the polygon fill. Now, what is the polygon fill? Well, if you click on the left-hand side, um, and you just go up and down like this for a moment, uh, you'll get like a bunch of polygons with this, right? Now, I can just easily select certain sections, and I can do stuff like this, where at least it just fills in certain sections, right? Now, all you want to do is you just want to drag over uh, the certain sections like this. Uh, so, we'll just do it for both sides here. And as you can see, we've added a little thing, right? We, we've added a little bit of texture. Now, you could do this with any of these, um, and it works perfectly fine. But we're just going to do it with the camo for now, because it kind of makes a little bit more sense for Clone Wars. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to drag it over. Um, all good and dandy. And as you can see, we've added a little bit of karma to our helmets. 
um you know right over here all of this goodness and you can experiment with whatever you want so like you want to do half your helmet like that uh you can easily just do that and on top of that you can also delete it as well just you know just control z uh, really simple really easy now Yes, this looks good, but it's not worn. It doesn't look battle um, ready. You know, it, it looks like it's new with shiny. So, if we go to Smart Materials again, drag the same fabric across, and we got this, right? If you go to um, over here and you click this, instead of going to a black mask, add mask with color section. Do that, quite simple. Add mask ID. You just want to add the helmet uh, mask texture. Um, and then you want to go pick color. And then you can pick any color you want. So say like you wanted to, I don't know, uh, pick white, for instance. You you know, you wanted to look like a rusted, um, you know, 41st soldier or something like that with, uh, you know, your paint coming through. Well, there you are. Looks absolutely amazing. Maybe you wanted to add it to uh, just this bit here. There you go. It does it. And it also can spread it to some sections as well. On top of that as well, you can increase or decrease the tolerance. So it shows or doesn't show. Uh, you know, it, it, it covers the entire helmet like this. This looks pretty cool, and you can change some things with that. Uh, or better yet, you can just remove a lot of it. So it just looks, you know, to add a little bit more detail to it. And, of course, you can play around with as much as you want with this. I mean, I always suggest going with the plastic... Because uh, plastic is pretty good with this. You can also go with um, rust um, or steel. Uh, these guys will add a bunch of stuff to your stuff and uh, it will just look amazing and it'll look great as well And I know that this isn't a very comprehensive guide I mean, there's many guides out there for substance painter. So please go to the fucking rims with them all um, But yes, this is how to do substance painter for all of this now How do we get it all the models out right go to file and all you need to do is go to export textures, right? Uh, and then you can select the, select the things you want. Oh, well, do you want it for the metallic or sort of stuff? Well, you're not doing modeling, so I would always just say unselect all of these and just have the base texture. And then all you need to do is just export it. Uh, but you can also unselect certain sections. So, so like we only want to do the helmet. Uh, well, there you go. And that is as simple as it is. So we only want to do the helmet. Uh, we'll unselect all of these. And then we only want the base texture. If we just do export, you can export it. And then you can just drag it in and watch one of my other guides of how to do that. Which will also be linked down below. And probably have a little, little side card up right now. But that is all you need to do. That is how simple it is. And yes, you may struggle. And if you guys have any questions, please join my Discord. Or send a comment and I'll happily get back to you as soon as I can. But, you know, this is the way people are going to retexture now. This is the way people are retexturing. And I highly suggest everyone moves to this way and not use Pixlr anymore. Now, Pixlr is good for some things. But this will create a little bit more detail. It will give you the way to do pack in 2022 and will make you stand out among everyone else. But with that being said, um, I must give a shout out to Werewolf Gaming and to Hazel. Uh, this was his models, uh, which he made for Werewolf Gaming, which is a server I play on. So um, make sure to come over, come and say hello to me, and uh, come join the community. While also on top of that, join my Discord. If you join my Discord, you can keep up to date on everything I do. And um, yes, with that being said, though, um, I will leave you and I will love you. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, I hope to hear some comments soon. Thank you all, and uh, goodbye, ladies and gentlemen. Bye-bye now.